Welcome to Easy Talks. Today, we will discuss how to select high dose for a toxicology study. Five major criteria for selecting high dose for a toxicology study need to be considered, which include maximum tolerated dose, limit dose, top dose based on saturation of exposure, maximum feasible or practical dose, and dose providing a 50-fold margin of exposure. Let us discuss, one by one in detail, concept of maximum tolerated dose, highest dose, that will be tolerated for the study duration, is otherwise called MTD. Single dose MTD will be greater than 7 days MTD, and 7 days MTD higher than 28 day MTD, which will be higher than 90 day MTD. To determine MTD, parameters, to be considered, include, clinical signs, and reductions in body weight and food consumption. Let us discuss in detail. Weight loss of up to 20% food and water consumption less than 40% of normal for 72 hours. Staring coat, marked pylorection. Subdued animal shows subdued behavior patterns even when provoked. Little peer interaction. Punched intermittently. Intermittent, vocalization when provoked. Oculonasal discharge persistent. Intermittent abnormal breathing pattern. Intermittent tremors. Intermittent convulsions Transient prostration No self-mutilation Next criteria is, limit dose The limit dose defines, the highest dose that should be used in the absence of a demonstrable MTD The limit dose is generally accepted, as 1000 mg per kilogram in both rodents and non-rodents for exceptions to the 1000 mg per kilogram and an informative decision tree, please go through ICHM3, R2, guidance. Next point is, top dose based on saturation of exposure. The primary objective of toxicokinetic assessment, is to describe the systemic exposure achieved, in animals and its relationship to the dose, sex, species, and the time course of the toxicity study. Toxicokinetic information enhances, the value of the toxicity studies by relating, the exposure to the test item to any toxicological findings, and the exposure in animals to clinical data as part of the assessment of risk, and safety in humans. For example, where toxicokinetic data indicate, that absorption limits exposure, to the test item or its metabolites, the lowest dose which achieves maximum exposure, should be used as the high dose in the absence, of other dose limiting constraints. This is often referred to as, saturation of exposure. Next criteria is, maximum feasible or practical dose. Practicalities, such as formulation, can mean the high dose is limited by what is technically feasible based upon the maximum possible concentration, of the test item in the formulation, and the dose volume that can be administered, over the study duration. Let us see what is, dose providing a 50-fold margin of exposure. Doses providing a 50-fold margin of clinical exposure, usually based on the group mean of the area under the curve, AUC, values of the test item, are also generally acceptable as the maximum dose, for acute and repeated dose toxicity studies in any species. Let me explain, some more points as a, guidance for selecting the high dose, in toxicology studies. The high dose for a regulatory toxicology study should produce, signs of toxicity that are compatible with the study duration, and are tolerated by the animal. This dose is referred to as, the MTD and is not expected to cause, morbidity or mortality. The high dose in a regulatory toxicology study, should not exceed doses investigated in the dose range finding study, even when the increase is relatively small in magnitude. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this module, please like and subscribe. Also request to provide your comments below to improve our contents. Happy learning! If you want to get certified by EasyTalks, please check the description of this video.